or if or if at all we're doing IVF uh, in such a case, then um, if the genetically tested tested normal euploid blastocyst is there, then the chances are pretty much uh, good. IUI also has the intrauterine insemination also has a place in cases of mild endometriosis, which mild or maybe unexplained. So sometimes these patients sub subclinical endometriosis never gets diagnosed and these patients get classified as unexplained subfertility patients because no one did the laparoscopy and the subclinical or small patches would not show in the ultrasound. So a completely normal ultrasound does not mean that the woman does not have endometriosis because the gold standard of the diagnosis of endometriosis is a surgery, which is a laparoscopic surgery. And it, there, it, it, the surgery has to be done uh, when it is indicated. So we cannot just do a, a, a laparoscopic surgery just to diagnose. So sometimes these patients get classified as the unexplained group of subfertility patients, but actually they might actually have the mild or subclinical endometriosis. And such patients will benefit from intrauterine insemination. So all three options are there for them, the sexual intercourse, intrauterine ins uh, insemination, or the IVF. Uh, but, uh, but like I explained, um, maybe in future we would assume that as far as IV IVF outcomes are concerned, they might not be very different, if at all, we actually do have the normal euploid uh, genetically tested normal plasticist.